Hey everybody, this is Camzilla51, back with another Transformers review. Part 7 out of 7 of the Toys R Us exclusive G1 Colors of the Humphrey the Decepticons Legends Class Devastator. Whew, that's a mouthful. But anyways, here we have Mixmaster in his vehicle mode. Nice little cement mixer. Um, in his uh, G1 green colors. I wish they had made this, this um, cement mixer part purple. Or done a little bit more to um, really homage the G1 character. But he's got some purple windows there. And this really nice muddy detailing all around the wheels and the sides. And it looks pretty cool. I didn't think I'd like it as much as I do, but I do. It looks really awesome. There's the underside, and oh, hello! There's a face right there. But I guess we'll get to that later. So, um, transform him into his robot mode. What you want to do is um, tab these legs apart, move this head over and back. <clears throat> it's not going to be a head yet. <clears throat> it's just hidden. What head? <laughs> so then what you want to do is move these legs down, and there's his face. And then you want to take these parts of the mixer and move them up like this, and then bring them on down to the sides. Now, then you take these uh, mixer parts and you kind of like bend them over to the side there. It's a little hard to to get it where you want it to, but once you do, then you gotta bulk your looking arm to otherwise what would be a pretty monkey looking mode. Um, yeah, Mixmaster looks better in his Voyager class size, I think. Um, and like I said with the other Constructicons, I think that the G1 colors really belong to the G1 character design, not for the Revenge of the Fallen. I would ra much rather see this guy in his black and silver colors from Revenge of the Fallen. But, I mean, not to say that I'm not a G1 fan. I love G1. Um, it's just, I think that for the sake of homaging, just give me a classic looking Devastator. Not the Classics Devastator, because that one didn't look so great, but just the uh, Classics design of Devastator in the G1 colors, and I'll be happy. But, um, yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, he's kind of dragging a weird-looking thing that looks like somebody's staring at you, but it's not really a head. <clears throat> it's not a head. <clears throat> But anyway, he just kind of drags it behind him like a tail. And uh, that's pretty much it. But he does have a really friendly looking head sculpt on him. With like one eyebrow raised and kind of a smile. It's, it's really amusing actually. But um, anyways, back to the uh, figure in, in its entirety. To transform it to its head mode... What you want to do is uh, move these move these panels back to where they were and move them up here like this and kind of split them a bit and then move this head part forward and tab this back together like this and then you have this <clears throat> mysterious part <clears throat> bring back down and uh, and just have these legs hang out to the side for now. So, I'm going to bring it up here for the combined <laughs> Devastator. And basically what you want to do is there are two little tabs, uh, tab holes right there and there. And they're going to attach onto these horn-looking things on Scavenger. And uh, just attach them like this. Do, do, do. And then wrap these legs around. <clears throat> and there you have the Legends Devastator in his G1 colors. And um, I think that this this looks really cool. I love the mold. I love the design. The whole way that everything combines and retains both vehicle and robot modes is superb. I love that. And it's something that the, um, the Supreme Class Devastator... Sadly, couldn't do. But, um, here, just give a little 360 here. I really like the way this guy looks. Um, he looks like 
kind of like a Frankenstein, like half, um, really asymmetrical, but it looks really cool. Um, like I said, I really think that the G1 colors belong to the G1 Devastator, and this one will look, this mold will look better in its Revenge of the Fallen colors. Um, so, yeah. Um, as far as posability goes, he has the forward joint from Scavenger here. You can move both of his arms forward to make it look like he's like walking on all fours here. And it looks pretty cool. And also you've got uh, this shovel articulation for raising up the uh, arms if you so choose. Normally I like to have Devastator in like this kind of pose with his arm up. Like he's about to smash something. Like devastate or smash. And it's kind of fun to do that. Uh, the head is on a ball joint at the top, something that hasn't really been seen before, but it looks kind of cool, which is more than could be said for the Supreme Class Devastator, who had a mouth-opening gimmick at the sacrifice of, sadly, any head articulation. So, customizers are happy because they can fix all that for taking away the gimmick that, well, it wasn't all that great. So, um, he's pretty, he's a pretty good size for, um, for, uh, Legends class, and just cause I have this here at the moment, here's a little Lego minifig, for your viewing pleasure, and, uh, <laughs> I can think of all kinds of fun ways that Devastator can play around with this guy, but, uh, like, ah, help me, help me, Devastator smash! It's fun to play with. Oops. Yeah, this... Mixmaster likes to come off sometimes. But, uh, you just... Dab him right back on. Um, the other posability he has is a little bit of, uh... In and out at these knees right here. And a little bit of foot posability and knee... Knee posability, if you want to use that. And he's a lot better, I think, than the Supreme Class Devastator. He's nice, he's pocket-sized, if you want to carry him around um, in your pockets, then he's like a good travel companion uh, to have him in. But, as, as opposed to this mode, uh, this color scheme, I would say get the Revenge of the Fallen colors, because those really make this mold shine, I think. This one, if you like the unified color scheme and that's your thing, sure, go ahead, buy this one. It's at Toys R Us exclusive. But if you want the Revenge of the Fallen colors, it was a Walmart exclusive, but I don't think it's out anymore. So, this has been Camzilla51 with the G1 colors of the Legends class Devastator. And, like I said, Merry Belated Christmas, everybody. And, um, I'll talk to you later.